Hello everyone and welcome back to my Interstellar Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 1.2.2. In this live stream on February 19th I decided to start off by building a Star Wars Y-Wing and that's because I had just gotten a book of Star Wars cross sections that had all sorts of possibilities in it and I decided to put it to use. Uh, and Y-Wings seem to be popular in my live stream chat anyway. Uh, here I am using Lackluster Lives Powers. I sped up the building uh, section of the video by a factor of four to give you a better sense of the building process. But of course, after the Lackluster Lives parts comes the KSP Interstellar parts for the engines. I start off with thermal launch nozzles there attached to a fusion engine, well, fusion reactor. And so it's my hope to sort of try out more fusion generators and reactors and such. Um, initially, uh, I put air intakes because actually I had in my chat Freethinker who maintains the KSB Interstellar mod and he was uh, very focused on getting me to use uh, air breathing stuff. But of course, then we'd have to replace the thermal launch nozzles because they don't use air. Uh, but the free delta V from the atmosphere is very attractive. Uh, so I did put air intakes even though there's supposed to be nose cones on those uh, outer pods and uh, we will eventually have to replace the thermal launch nozzles with either ramjet or thermojet, a turbojet nozzle. Uh, here you see me putting the extension pass nozzle that is sort of characteristic of the Y-Wing. Uh, the trouble is this sort of arrangement blocks the thrust from the engine and I'll eventually figure that out. I keep trying to put stuff, you can see there I've put control surfaces. It's supposed to be little control surfaces to sort of vector the thrust and help uh, control the craft by vectoring the thrust, but that ends up not working. Uh, we'll see that eventually. I actually uh, take it out uh, without those to check that uh, the existing arrangement doesn't block the thrust, and it doesn't. Uh, but if you try and put control surfaces inside those little circles at the end there, uh, it does block the thrust, so that's no good. It, um, well, it doesn't handle great. We don't really have any way of controlling yaw here. We do have control surfaces on the wings, but uh, no vertical stabilizer and no yaw control, so it's rather haphazard, you can see. it's. But of course this is at Mach 3 at about uh, 60,000 feet or 20 kilometers. Uh, forgive me for not having the audio there, but uh, we'll, have, we'll have the original audio later on. Uh, here I'm putting turbojet uh, nozzles. Uh, in the hope that it'll give us a little bit more of an ability to take off from the runway. I didn't want to constantly take off vertically, I wanted to take off horizontally. But that adds other complications, because I don't want to put wheels on this either. So we're going to have to test out another new technology to make that work. Here I'm uh, trying out different fuels. Um, hydrazine seems to be the good thing. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of hydrazine apparently. So here I'm making an effort, uh, checking far, but there's no way I can resolve the the yaw situation. Th that's the two red numbers in the far readout there is the yaw actually, without ruining the look of it. And I really wanted a Y-Wing that looked like a Y-Wing. So, okay, so here is uh, my solution for wheels and it's the, these little anti-grav units. The thing about the anti-grav units is they basically operate like wheels except they're invisible wheels with really high velocity tolerances. So it, we, we are going to sort of hover above the surface. I, I could have used some sort of skids I suppose. I couldn't find any. I thought Lackluster Labs had them but um, even then the skids would probably not have very good velocity tolerances. Anyway, on to the original audio. That's efficient of them. Um, something just changed propellant, I know. That's hydrazine. No, there's a both, both still hydrazine. But I want them on atmosphere now. Though these should be atmosphere, definitely. Hmm, atmosphere. It's floating off to one side. Um, where are the controls for this thing? Uh, I wonder if there's some sort of wait. Those are capacitors. I think that's that's near future. 
Okay, hold on. Set the default hover. Uh, well, what what's this about sliding off to the side though? Who needs a runway? That's the point. Um, Alright, let's find out what happens when we light the turbo jets. I don't know. And... We better start going up here. Oh! I can't pull up! I can't pull up! I think anti-gravity has glitched the entire everything. Well, we have lateral control anyway. OVR secret, yeah. I'm pulling up as hard as possible right now. Really pulling up here. I have a feeling that our little hover thing majiggies are not gonna make let us go up. We're gonna be able to go as fast as we can until we fall apart. But I need to figure out what We're past the speed of sound. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I can tell. At what point does Far stop liking this? Or Kerbal Foundries has a hiccup. We're on water though, so there's no bumps. We're past Mach 2, but we need some way of going up. <laughs> hmm. Our acceleration is quite remarkable. The, tur uh, the um, ramjets are definitely working. We can turn. Turning is a thing. At nearly Mach 3 now. And that's impressive because you'd think that being a little bit sideways would be enough to rip this thing apart. As far as aerodynamics was concerned. Runway is when Far has an issue with it. High, high dynamic pressure. No kidding. It's not reading a Mach number. Why is it not reading a Mach number? We're past Mach 3. I don't know if this is gonna stop. Yeah, there's something weird. I think, I think uh, the anti-grav thing might be throwing far off. We should be at mega pascals right now, and definitely having more, um, more aerodynamic thingamajiggies. Far is not on its game right now. Oh. No, I think it was just that lip that sort of gave us a kick. It's not actually letting me go up. I'm pulling up as hard as I can right now. What about the turbo jets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we should have kept those air intakes on the front there. Well, we're on the whole... Well, let's see about... Far does not seem to be paying attention to this at all. I think the anti-grav thing is um, special. 
It's like anti-far. As you can tell. So maybe we'll see how this handles uh, really fast approaches to mountains. Really, if we... Uh, you know, the air intake should not be working right now. They have no flow. So this is a bit confusing. We could really throw things off if we turn off these repulsors. I have no idea exactly how these repulsors work and why they do these things. They have a minimum flow? Yeah, maybe that should be changed for when we're going backwards, I don't know. My canards work? My canards technically work. They just don't do anything. Nothing seems to be able to tilt this up. FAR does not regulate ground vehicles. Well, it is sort of a ground vehicle, isn't it? With the repulsors on, it's uh, basically the repulsors work like wheels. Oh, you fixed that already? Okay. The repulsors work like wheels, so it's, I guess, acting like a ground vehicle. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens when we encounter the coast at full speed. This is a dastardly thing to do to Valentina. It's a heck of a thing, though, I have to say. We need to make... We need... You know what we need to make? We need to make pod racers. I think this calls for pod racers, actually. One point twelve point two. One point twelve point two. What version is it right now? Pod racer. Okay. Well, we had our first failure. The I I don't know. Uh, I wonder. Uh, it just lost the air intake, but now it's really tilting badly, huh? It didn't lose any anti-graviness. Those capacitators only slow you down? They're tiny though. They're for looks. I ultimately decided to just try and get this into space, so I added some boosters for, really, actually for more Delta V, because the Y-Wing wasn't containing enough Delta V to get to orbit, and then tried to launch it vertically. Well, all the stuff has already switched to what it's not supposed to be. Let's see. That's atmospheric. Let me just verify that everything's atmospheric. Well, there's only two nozzles now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hmm. All right. Um, we'll ignite these before let, letting the boosters go. Alright, uh, here we go. Oh, why are they going forward? Wait a second. What, 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 what? 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 The problem there was that the little control surfaces I had behind the ramjet nozzles uh, were obstructing the thrust of the nozzles and so we weren't getting enough thrust. I didn't notice that when taking off from the SPH because we had the turbojets still attached whereas I dumped them on this one to make it lighter. Alright, well uh, we can light up the... 
I mean, there's no particular reason not to, I suppose. We'll light up the ramjets right at the start. Here we go. Well, I think they're working now. Thrust on the ramjet. Here you go. Pushing 600 now. We can't really go too much faster. Or the aerodynamic forces will be really bad. We have to switch mode soon. But we can actually do that on the fly. Okay. So, well, that says atmospheric. I can't switch. It's not taking the next propel. Oh, well, I didn't action group these. Whoa, oh, whoa. There we go. Um, why is one still on intake air? Oh. Don't panic. It's alright. I think. Current thrust, 482 kilonewtons, and it'll be stable at that, uh, 781 seconds ISP. I mean, uh, you might have remembered, I made the Enterprise somewhere, and I'm trying to find the Enterprise. I thought I had it in here. I thought I had even opened it in here, just as a show-offy thing. But I'm sort of missing it. And that's orbit. 201 by 173. 555 meters per second left. Well, that's a thing. But it's not going to get too far as it is. In fact, we'll probably have to rescue Gluenna in the fullness of time. But for now, Gluenna's got 117 days worth of food, water, and oxygen. So we'll leave her be. Let's try and build something with a warp engine. For my first warp ship, I decided to make sort of a nifty little habitat sort of ship with the same sort of dome I had on a previous ship uh, in a previous episode. But in this case, I wanted two rotating habitats. I think by a viewer request on that one. But we were going to have warp drives and of course a fusion reactor. I haven't used before because I want to try all the things out and you can see it uh, as it is there along the way I forgot many many things but um, Freethinker encouraged me to use the magnetic nozzle this time which I had not used before and uh, well it's good because I really do need to get the hang of all of these parts and how they work together so this is going to be completely different from every, anything we've done before, but I really, really wanted to use uh, sort of Star Trek engine pods on the side, warp pods. But that didn't end up working out so well, especially with the Infernal Robotics parts that I'm trying to use there to extend them out. Turns out those are a little bit wobbly, so um, I had to dump them eventually and put the couplers instead. But you can see I'm trying to be Star Trek-ish about it. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough warp capacity with just uh, little uh, warp rings, and so I had to use the, that heavy-duty one, and actually more than one, on this variant of the 
Uh, I forget what I call this, actually. Um, uh, maybe Obliviator? Well, no. Uh, it's, it's currently called Fergus Launch, but that was the old ship's name. Something like Obliviator. Uh, uh, yeah, Obliviator. I'm still not entirely sure about that name. Anyway, so we've got three heavy warp coils and then a whole lot of warp coils. Lots and lots of warp coils in order to make sure this can warp. And apparently we need a lot of uh, heat dissipation. We need a lot of radiator panel read, but uh, I decided not to go for those huge radiator wings. Anyway, here's the launch. I wonder why extra planetary launch pads always pops up. Hydrogen do I bring? Um, possibly none. We don't have any hydrogen. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll revert this one. Let's just get off the ground. We're going up this time. Yay! Please tell me these nozzles gimbal. They gimbal a bit. Okay, well, we'll try and uh, gain some altitude before testing them. 1%? Oh, I probably changed that. For the sake of realism overhaul, I probably changed it to 4. I hope. Um... Well... Maybe not. Maybe not. No! No! Yeah, I didn't change it. Okay, well, um, yeah, I didn't, f I didn't change the gimbling. I am going to now. Warp drive have built, no, not anymore. Sorry, um, in, uh, I, I've took, I've taken them away. Sorry. They don't have built-in reaction wheels. Yeah, I know, but if I want a reaction wheel, I'll put a reaction wheel. It doesn't have to be built into a warp drive. Let the warp drive handle the warp drive function. There are parts called reaction wheels. You can add them in. Loud turning during warp. Yeah, well, we're not going to be doing that. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll toss that back in to the config for other people. Other people can have the reaction wheels and whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, because we don't burn fuel so quickly, the thrust weight ratio doesn't go up and the trajectory is very different from a normal rocket. Even a tiny amount of... Uh, this is just a test run. We didn't bring any crew either. I don't know if you noticed. So obviously this is not the main mission. Well, let's not be lifting the fairing. It'll be interesting to see if it separates cleanly. Uh, okay, good enough. Charge particles is the main propellant. Okay. No funny EM drive stuff. I don't know about the look of it, honestly. Looks like a skeleton ship somehow. With those things, like ribs. So, where is Mars these days? It's actually in a horrible location for us to transfer to, but that's fine. We have a warp engine. We don't care about transfer windows with warp engines. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be affected. The total warp power 877, maybe we're carrying too many warp drives. Okay, we're in orbit. Let's shut down for now. Okay, we have 11,000 meters per second left. We will have to boost higher in order to increase 
possible warp speeds. It says ready. Yeah, I think we have too many warp drives. I forgot RCS! <laughs> we've got hydrazine, we've got plenty of hydrazine. But since I've taken out the... Um, is there any reaction wheel left in here? Nope. There's no reaction wheel left in here. So we're gonna have to put some... RCS on. Maybe I should add a rea I'll add a reaction wheel. Okay, here we go again. Throttle up. RCS on. And ignition. Okay. And launch. I guess we can physical time warp a bit. Please don't break apart. Oh, it's actually going lower thrust? Wait, wait, wait. During physical time warp, it just cut all power. I mean, well, a lot of power. What's, what's the idea? Oh, we're in trouble now. Yeah, I can pause charging. Stop charging. But we lost all the exotic matter once we... We don't pause charging, we stop charging. So we lost all the exotic matter. It has to be kept charged in order to keep the exotic matter. Well, good thing the Kerbals have a year of food because... Oh, sorry, two years of food. Because it's taking that long to turn around. Um, well, while they're doing this, maybe we can get Foxy to... Can't exit. Module has no hatch? Ah, oh, we're in trouble. They can't EVA! Well, good thing I checked. They can't EVA and can't expand the modules. I done goofed. Come on, these modules should have a way to EVA. Crikey. There's no hatch? You know, in the old version, in 1.1.3 colonization, these modules did have a hatch. It's definitely turning. I mean, I like the modules that colonization has now, but I do miss the old ones too. And the old ones had hatches, which would be very helpful right now. I didn't notice these did not. Maybe we'll give this uh, hydrogen engine a go. I mean we're we have hydrogen boil off all over the place. We might as well shut these other engines down. Activate this one. While wow, we still have hydrogen to use. Is it serious about 266 thousand meters per second and 120 days oh it's, it's better at lower throttle that's what it is inversely related to throttle great because that's why I want an engine to force me to be patient and make a decision over a million ISP Uh, it says warp throttle. That's surely not quite right. This is not a warp engine. Don't pretend to be a warp engine. You're like the opposite of a warp, warp engine. Non-physical time warp? Ah, well that's better. If it can, if it can operate in non-physical time warp, I feel better about it then. You're not so evil then, my nag nozzle. It seemed like a torture device where, where you have to constantly worry. Oh, if I, uh, your impatience will get the better of you. Okay, we're point pointing at Mars, and rumor has it that we can just point at Mars and we'll get there. Let's see if that's true.
I don't know. Here goes nothing. Activate warp drive. Power requirement is higher than maximum power supply. Aw, shucks. Okay, I believe the way to solve that is to gain more height. Okay. I think we need to go higher, away from the gravitational pull of the Earth. So let's test this time warping magnetic nozzle thingy. Man, the maximum warp limit is rough. Okay, well now it's maintaining our thing in the wrong direction. Hold on. Deactivate. Uh, something just happened. Something just happened. Guys. We are currently going faster than the speed of light. Something just glitched. Sorry. Sorry. I think, uh... I think things have happened. This is not supposed to happen. <laughs> no kidding. <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen when it gets over there. Was I charging? Okay, so were we not supposed to be charging at that point? Charging bad? I didn't read that particular note. We had exotic matter and we were keeping that exotic matter, yes. Oh. Well, now we have the converse. So, if you guys wanted to see, we do have other star systems, which apparently this is now going to get to visit. Well, maybe not, because it's really hard to hit any one of them. Shouldn't matter. Okay, well, we were charging. We have many star systems. Look at all those. Anyway, when you're packing reactors like these in warp drives and stu such, adding boosters seems weird. Ignition. Okay, launch. Forty-six thousand material kits. That's not what they said it'd require. <sighs> 46,000 material kits. And we're a bit short on electric charge, too. So let's do the thing with uh, the magnetic nozzle, and I guess we go in a spiral around the Earth. So we go to SAS now, and it's holding prograde. And we have persistent rotation. Activate relative rotation to the Earth. Okay. And, no, wait, let's say... Um, no, I don't think we have to do set, because that turns it to Mars. Earth. Okay. Alright. And then we switch off these guys. Activate this one. And apply very, very, very little thrust. And time warp. Or right, I'll just leave that up. Let's see where we're at on the warp drive. Still 0.16c, so. Not enough. Megawatt to initiate. Uh, there's electric charge running out. What's going on? Uh, our antimatter is depleted. 
We lost all antimatter. That was quick. Hmm. Well, there goes the whole dream of going warp. We're stuck in a one day orbit. And there you have it, the trials and tribulations of my first attempt at a warp ship. Not really my first attempt at a warp ship, I did the Phoenix and uh, I've done other warp ships before, but the first in this version of Chaos Me Interstellar and uh, of course Realism Overhaul. Uh, don't worry, don't, you don't have to panic and give me all your suggestions. I can tell you right now that my next live stream on February 26th, we did have a successful warp ship eventually. It took a little bit of time during that live stream to get one still, but but we do have one that does work, and I'll show that off in the next episode. So, looking forward to that, and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.